If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Those of you who know me will have uh, seen this come out yesterday and thought, well, he'll be doing that. I've done the loan initially, probably will do the fully fledged icon, but I play friendlies all the time. So I've got him in the club now till the end of the game. And I, you know, I don't really care too much that I can't use him in rivals more than four games because I've got him in friendlies and that's where I play most of my games. It's just a lot more fun. The game isn't as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can't use the word I'm looking for because I'll get demonetized. But you know what I mean? It, it's a lot less like that in, in friendlies. People play a lot more open. They don't run to your penalty area, turn around and do all the sort of squiggly left stick nonsense. But anyway, that aside, we have 92 rated Steven Gerrard, the cheapest icon of the three released yesterday. Of course, uh, Carlos Alberto and Yashin. I may or may not get them both done today. I've got them more or less finished because I reviewed them all in the same team together because why not kill three birds with one stone? I don't think you can say that th uh, saying anymore. But either way, um, I may or may not do them today or tomorrow. I have to wait and see. This is currently coming in at around 3.30 to 3.40 as an SBC. He's between 3.30 and 400 on the market. So not really any discount to be had in terms of coins versus SBC. But you know, my argument with that is always, well, you've probably got high rated fodder in your club, or if you haven't, then obviously that's unfortunate, but you can't sell it if it's untradeable. So the whole, oh, you could buy him on the market, he should be cheaper as an SBC argument doesn't really fly with me. But um, either way, some really nice stats as far as Gerard's concerned. I mean, the long shots, the shot power, the volleys, the penalties, in my opinion, should probably be a little bit higher as he was Liverpool's dedicated penalty taker for like 20 years. But that is by the by. Uh, and then, of course, uh, his positioning as well. His strength could arguably be higher, but it's not bad. His stamina, again, should be higher. It should be 99. I don't think there's any doubt. You know, players like um, Lampard and Gerrard would just they, they fight constantly and they wouldn't give up. Even if you could tell they were knackered, they would still be running as fast as they could. So in my opinion, because there's no like heart stat, he should have 99 stamina. His passing is on point as well, even though again his vision should be 99 in my opinion. I am very biased because I am a Liverpool fan, but at the same time, I mean it's come on. You know, even a Man United fan can agree that uh, Gerrard's vision should be higher than 89. I've tried to make it a Liverpool-themed squad with Torres and Owen, and I've put Jones in there as well as Yari Lippmann, but Yari Lippmann plays in every team that I, I build these days. Every uh, midfielder and attacker have a Liverpool link. The defenders do not. Carlos Alberto doing his stuff there, but Gerrard takes over, and uh, we manage to recover. We do, do uh, my opponent a little bit dirty there with a little bit of a step over. I don't think Gerrard's ever done a step over in his life, but there he is. Scores an absolute banger or two in this video as well. Not as many as I would have liked. I would have loved to have had this card back in FIFA 19 where time finesse shots from the edge of the area were glorious and then they nerfed them. But you know what I mean? Right at the beginning of the game. Remember right at the beginning of the FIFA 19? One of the best FIFAs I've ever played until the patch where you could literally bang in a 35 yard screamer uh, with Shakiri's scream card and it would go top bins every single time and there was almost nothing that my opponent could do about it. I loved it. It was so much fun. Even when people were doing it against me, it looked awesome and then they patched it and then the only thing you could do was an El Tornado cross. Anyway, uh, Gerard scores goals for fun. His long range efforts are really, really enjoyable. Massive fan of just... I should have changed their numbers. I always forget to do it. I remember... When I watched the celebration, I'm like, oh, that doesn't look right. Should have done it, but I didn't. But um, either way, if you're a, a fan uh, of Gerrard or Liverpool or LA Galaxy, if that's a thing, then uh, it, it's almost a must to get this done, really. Even if you do get the loan and go into a few friendlies and do it. But just to have him in the club and then put him on, on the edge of the area, scream Gerrard and do that. Okay, maybe not as far out as I'd like it to be, but... Just the raw power that you can get in the shot. I'm sure uh, Man United fans are the same with Skulls, and I'm sure Chelsea, West Ham, and Man City fans are the same with Lampard, that you just want to get him on the edge of the area and just hit the hit one. That is the 
the banger I'm talking about. What a goal that is. Against a good goalkeeper as well, that is a banger of a goal. I think he gets one more pretty decent effort. Uh, there's like a little passing move. I don't know where, where that is. A little passing move and he finishes it off. It might even be this one, actually. We're knocking it around, knocking it around. And then there it is. Nice, uh, like, driven shot. In terms of usability, I mean, yeah, you can use him and you can have fun with him. But he's not going to be a car. Look at that for a pass. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the defense had completely split at that point. Michael Owen, classic Owen finish into the top corner. Nice goal. Uh, Gerard started it. Owen finished it. It's, I mean, that brought me back. And to be fair, I had a lot of fun with that team. You know, it was a good, good defense. The goalkeeper, Yashi, need to watch the review. He makes some unreal stops. Fair play. But, you know, I had a lot of fun with that team. And it always comes back to the whole, if you're a, a fan of the players in real life, you will have a lot more fun in game with them than, of course, if you're, you're not. You know, if you're using Carlos Alberto and you've never seen him play before... Yeah, he's going to be a good card, but you're not going to enjoy it as if you're using uh, a, an 83-rated right-back that you watch growing up. Even the base Roberto Carlos will have a lot more enjoyment in it for most people than, you know, a really high-rated, like, Carlos Alberto card, just because you know who he is and how Carlos played, for example, right? Uh, Roberto Carlos, that is. Anyway... Uh, Gerard's mobility is definitely going to be an issue for most people. If you're not a fan of him, you're not going to get on with him too well because he, he does feel quite slow. I gave him a shadow because I put him in that sort of midfield role. He was in a central midfield position in a 5-3-2. He was more of a box-to-box. -box. Why he doesn't have a high defensive work rate, I'll never know. And I could, you know, you can argue, well, well, it's a moment from this particular point in his career where he didn't track back as much. But in my opinion, the moments should be the very best of the car, the very best of the player. So he should have high 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 work rates he should have 99 stamina he should have much better defending and he should have 99 vision or there or thereabouts anyway because he used to rake 70 yard passes with his eyes closed he was very much a David Beckham type player there where you just look forward to watching him for that one thing you know just oh here we go Gerard's in his own area he's he's looking up here comes the pass bang pinpoint accurate every time Beckham's like it. I don't know what his stats are, but I'm pretty sure he should have 99 passing and vision as well. It's a good card for fans of Gerard. If you don't like Gerard in real life and don't really care about him, this isn't going to be one that you're going to enjoy using that often. His long shots are obviously the highlight of the card. A lot of fun to just crack them from distance because they are accurate. But apart from that, you can get whatever you get out of him elsewhere if you're not a fan of him. But if you are a fan of him, I would 100% recommend it because it is a lot of fun to score goals with this guy on the edge of the area, track back and defend and all the rest of it. Let me know what you think of the card in the comments. And of course, if you have enjoyed this play review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you. And until the next time, goodbye.